Morin Pugh. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, my pleasure too to stand in support of the Canterbury Property Boundaries and Related Matters Bill in its second reading. Uh, Mr Speaker, um, having only been in this 51st Parliament for a few months, I haven't been involved in this select committee process, um, but I can see that it has been a very um, cordial agreement uh, across the parties to reach this point in this legislative change. Um, Mr Speaker, this bill aims to provide certainty regarding where the legal boundaries are. And uh, as we've heard, the land shift in Canterbury during the 2010 and 2011 earthquakes has been significant and it has caused uh, some problems in identifying those legal boundaries. This bill aims to give the surveyors and the property owners certainty about the correct location of those legal boundaries. We all know how severe the impacts of those events in Canterbury were for everyone. And five and a half years after that first big shake, we find ourselves at this point of regeneration. And this bill aims very much to support that process. Now, the, bill, the problem this bill sets out to address is that the legal boundaries, or the gen generally held principle, is that legal boundaries do not move. But given the extent of that uh, movement in Canterbury, we, are, we find ourselves in this position where we are looking at this legislation. Um, it has created some difficulties um, given the extraordinary scale of that land movement. Um, for instance, uh, some neighbours could find themselves now legally harvesting fruit and uh, vegetables or picking the flowers out of their neighbour's garden simply because uh, they now encroach onto their boundary. Um, we could find people um, arguing about parking cars in someone else's garage because it legally is across their boundary. Um, and potentially problems with setback rules with the um, Christchurch City District Plan. Um, encroaching on those setback rules um, is through no fault of the property owners, Mr Speaker, and it would be a nonsense for any correction to be forced upon those property owners. And this uh, bill, as I said, recognises that those boundaries have moved through the 2010 and 2011 earthquakes, and it also takes account of aftershocks, Mr Speaker. Uh, the bill applies a very common sense approach to correcting the legal boundaries, and it's going to put them where property owners would expect them to be. So it's not going to be a definitive result, it's going to be a cordial result, and people will reach common sense outcomes. Um, it's going to recognise in this bill that there has already been surveys and it's going to give validation to those surveys that have already been undertaken. And that provision is made in this bill also, Mr Speaker. It's essential that the people of Canterbury whose property boundaries have been affected by the earthquake and the aftershocks have certainty over their property rights. Um, I believe this bill achieves that. Uh, it's another step in the regeneration of that region. And it also complements the $17 billion that this government has committed to the initial response in Canterbury and one of the most ambitious programs in New Zealand's history. And it is for that reason, Mr Speaker, I have pleasure in committing this bill to the House. Mr. Speaker. Eugenia 